Here with uh, Jim Dapkus, coach of the baseball team. Coach, your season starts this weekend. How are you feeling about the upcoming year? Uh, you know, I Obviously excited. Um, we've had a very mild winter here, so our kid, we've been outside a lot more than usual. In fact, any year that I've coached, we've been uh, we've been outside as much as we, we we've ever have. Our kids have gotten a lot of reps outside, and we're at the point where we probably need to get some games in just to kind of see. We have quite, obviously questions are developing, and we got to play some games to hopefully get those answers. And um, you know, maybe some new questions will arise during the games, and uh, really try to take the first month which would be the month of uh, February and try to figure out where our lineup's going to be and you know who's going to be playing where and this and that and that, all that kind of good stuff and hopefully get ready for the beginning of the conference which would be the first weekend in March. What are some of the goals that you have for the season? Uh, obviously, you know, one goal is to get to the conference tournament. Um, this is a very tough baseball conference and you've got to play consistently, you know, good throughout the whole year and that's something we did not do last year. We had we had good weekends and then we had very bad weekends and we've got to be able to find a consistent way of playing throughout the season and and, and one goal is obviously towards the end of the year you, you want to be playing in games that mean something and you know that that's what what, what this is all about and, and hopefully we will put ourselves in that position where, you know to be able to play some games at home late in the year that means something. You have quite a few returners, but you also brought in a, a lot of junior college transfers. Uh, what do you think will be among the strengths of your team this year? Um, it's, it's been a really fun team to coach. Uh, we've had really no major issues. Um, the goal, or the strength of the team, I think, really is just our overall speed. Um, you know, we're not going to be the fastest team in the country by any means, but we have a pretty good um speed element that we can add to our lineup and we've really worked this year a lot more than in the past of establishing some type of a running game because we don't know where our power is going to come from we think we've got guys that can hit for power but we really want to try to be able to use the speed element a lot more than we've done in the past well, who are a couple players that fans should keep an eye on this year? Uh, you know, Chris Fowles back for his last year. Um, he has led our team in pitching and hitting the last couple of years. We obviously, uh, you don't want to put too much pressure on one kid, but we fully expect him to have another good year for us. And then really after Chris, we've got a lot of new guys that, you know, we're going to have almost a whole new lineup. And, uh, you know, we're hopefully going to see some, some good years out of guys. But there's there's a lot of unanswered questions with, with the lineup um, that hopefully will get start, you know, start getting answered this weekend. And that will help us out a little bit more on maybe where some more big bats will come throughout the year so all right well this weekend you've got a couple games down in Oklahoma playing Southeast Oklahoma State a team that had a good year last year and they uh, they were ranked regionally this year um, what's going to be the uh, key to this game is this something where you're just going to go in see where your players are going into the season or do you uh, are you game planning to win this you know it, obviously you want to try to win um, and, and in years past when we've done something like this you know playing this early it sometimes is, is our first day outside but because of this this winter that we've had we've been outside enough that we you know we can't use that excuse we've gotten to inner squad we've practiced every day on our field the kids are more game ready than they've ever been before now on a, on a trip like this and having been in the Heartland Conference with all the trips to Texas and all that, we've got pretty good experience of, you know, the eight, nine hour bus rides and, you know, doing that throughout the night and then uh, one day of maybe a workout at the school and then you get ready to play on a Saturday and Sunday and, and all that. And even though we've had um, a mild winter, any anytime you're dealing with the Southern teams, you know, they're, they're just so much better off because I'm, I'm sure they've done even more and they're much more used to it and all that kind of stuff. They're playing at home. They're going to have umpires that are a lot more familiar with them and, and this and that. So there, there's some hurdles you got to overcome, but it's just it's a good challenge for us to get out and play. And obviously it's hard to factor in or hard to schedule games up here this time of the year because you just don't know what the weather's going to be like. So we went ahead and we uh, um, we did not do it last year, and I think it really hurt our team. So this year we tried to make sure that we had some early season games so that we had games under our belt before the conference starts in, uh, in March. So we got this trip to Oklahoma, and then two weeks we go to Arkansas. And we should be in a situation where we've got, you know, seven non-conference games under our belts before we start playing the conference games. All right, and then finally, you talked a little bit about the strengths of your team, but what's something that you like about your squad this year? Uh, just a great group of guys to coach. Um, they, Like I said, they, they've never had any problems. There does not seem to be any clicks. They all seem to get along really good, which when you bring in a bunch of junior college kids, you just never know how fast they're going to mesh. And these kids have you know, meshed from day one in terms of there does not seem to be a lot of ego problems on the team. They all get along, and uh, hopefully that correlates to doing a lot of little things to help us win. And, uh, you know, once again, this weekend we'll start finding out about some of that stuff. All right, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.